Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And as you can tell, my voice is still <clears throat> a little rough. I cannot seem to get that little frog out of my throat. I'm going to do my best here to give you guys an update. As I said, Friday Night Live, welcome to another surviving day on the planet. We are on May 7th, 2021. And we are looking at a pretty sizable M3 class solar flare that ejected from the sun earlier today if you haven't seen the video already please check it out we're looking at lasco 2 images here they have since updated since the uh 12 24 when it stopped and we're just looking here very sizable solar flare everybody <clears throat> let's have a look 304 angstroms as you can see Big bright spot region coming in on the northwest. And a very bright flash within it. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Get you guys a better look. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what's going on, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for checking in to the Daily Do. Hopefully, my voice is not too annoying right now. Oops, okay. We are trying to get a zoom in here of the sun. There we go. So now we can observe this large M3 class solar flare. 50 people in. Don't forget to hit that like button, everybody. 56 people in. Give a thumbs up. Thank you for checking in today. <coughs> Hello, Naomi. Naomi. Hello, Janet Lance. Hello, Kent. Hello, Jack. Hello, Data. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Blue. Hello, Julie. Hello, Becky. Hello, Sandra Hooley. Welcome. Hello, Tracy Taylor. Hello, Rita Hood. Hello, Sonia Vargas. Hello, Jills McFarland. Hello, Inner City Alice. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining this live stream tonight. Giving you a quick look at that large M Class Solar Flare, of course. <clears throat> My voice is shot today. I don't know what's going on. We're also observing bright region in the southern hemisphere of the sun. No earth facing coronal holes. But we do have some activity that is heading our way now. As you can tell. Looking here at the annual spiral. Evolution for this particular CME. It will be making a glancing blow to Earth, and it is heading straight at uh, Stereo A, Mercury, and Stereo uh, Satellites. <coughs> Have a quick look here. The annual spiral from NOAA, uh, they do give a different spiral than everybody else. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down here. Again, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Thanks, everybody, for checking in today. <clears throat> yeah, I think my voice just needs a break. I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, I, I feel fine. I don't feel sick. Uh, just the frog in my throat, I guess. 
so yeah, definitely heading our way and something I had pointed out in uh, earlier today in the video was the uh, magnetic perturbation map. So we did get hit today and apparently satellites were down, radio signals were down across North America today due to that signal. So yeah, that's that. And not only that, it did show up on the Schumann resonance too. Uh, Schumann, let's uh, give it a look, quick look here at the Schumann resonance for today. It's already a power of 93, and we'll see if that spike is continuing or not. I did note that out in the earlier video. So no, it has not changed since. Still looking at a pretty powerful 93. Or is it 97 now? Yeah, 93. Quality of 8.2. <clears throat> what is the Garlock fault, Patrick? Uh, somebody just got on there and said, Morning Dew, when is the Garlock fault popping off? I don't even know where the Garlock fault is. Why don't you let me know? Hello, Darren Straley. Hello, Violet. Hello, David. Hello, Anna. Hello, Kent. Do crew, thank you so much for all of your help in streams and as well your support to this channel. Uh, hello, DY Ox. Again, welcome all of the 70 people watching, checking out this live Friday night live update. Let's have a look at earthquakes last 24 hours and just recently, earthquake Argentina or Chile one of the two here yeah Chile Atacama Chile 4.6 at a 230 kilometer depth earlier today as well sizable 5.1 the or sorry 5.5 North Atlantic Ridge let's just put the magnitude on here so I can see what I'm talking about yeah Minor rumbles continue through Puerto Rico, North America, shakers continue through Kansas, and as well all along the west coast, seeing continual activity, Alaska activity coming back, a couple deep earthquakes there, south of Kamchatka, and we are looking at 310 earthquakes the last 24 hours now. So we are seeing an increase in numbers. Lots of activity through the Philippines, Indonesia, regular regions, West Ring of Fire. Large 6.0 here. Macquarie Island, south of Australia. And then a deep 6.2 earthquake here in the Fiji region 384 kilometer depth so the largest 24 hours 6.2 and the deepest at 384 kilometer depth <coughs> thanks again for all of your support and your love to this channel everybody and for tuning in tonight it's friday night i hope you all enjoy your weekend grimes finds how you doing buddy good to see you my friend do crew do crew. <coughs> I got like three screens going on here. I got the Iceland volcano that's exploding on HD 32 inch. And then I got my office that's on the 42 inch. And then I'm streaming everything here on the desktop, laptop. So it's kind of a chaotic scene in front of me here. Welcome to Friday night. <coughs> Let's get back to the earthquakes here. So South America rocking as well. Uh, South Sham Sandwich Islands, uh, Saunders Island, Michael Volcano, 5.0 there. As well, 4.4 here in Greece. 4.4 there, Kamchatka. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, I feel like I could just cough it out, whatever it is, but it's not coming out. Hopefully, y'all can hear me okay. It's not uh, too rough on the ears. <laughs> I 
I know it's not the regular do voice, but uh, it is what it is. All right. So we've looked, we've looked at earthquakes. Let's give a close look here into the west coast of the United States. Of course, through all these active faults through California. Earthquakes seem to have stopped here in Lake Tahoe and as well northwest of the lake in uh, Truckee, California. Minor swarm through uh, Ridgecrest. Nothing major to report though, really. San Juan Quito fault line. There's a little swarm happening there. And not too much to talk about at Yellowstone either. We're going to give a quick zoom in here for Yellowstone. Closest earthquakes. Minor microquakes here. 1.5 and a 0.1. So nothing major to report in Yellowstone. But you notice where all these earthquake swarms continue to go. It's, it's to these lakes and it's to the geysers. Uh, it's to releasing the pressure. A lot of pressure. Have a quick look here at Hawaii. As we have seen a lot of increased activity. 2.4 there. Most recently, Pahala, 34 kilometer depth. But we're seeing the activity come back to uh, Napopo. Hawaii. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks. Friends and family from around the world. I'm really happy that you joined me for this Friday night a live update. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my voice is really annoying right now. It's annoying to me. I mean, I, uh, I, I depend on my voice. <laughs> So this is uh, this is a bit frustrating. Wow, fourteen ninety nine donation. Thank you so much. Tea with lemon and honey, honey, honey. Yes, I need something. <laughs> welcome Kim. Welcome Adriana. Uh, welcome Patman. Good to see you, neighbor. It's a mix between Barry White and the Twilight Zone guy. He likes it. <laughs> Thanks, Grimes. Uh, thank you so much for that donation, Janet. I really appreciate all of your support to the channel. And just recently here, and this is the good thing about doing the live update. You know, we did just get a 4.4 at a 10 kilometer depth hitting Barbados. So lots of activity <clears throat> through the Caribbean subduction zone. Puerto Rico, 3.5 there today. And now let's get a quick little update for weather because uh, I did give you a five day forecast yesterday. I got my iPad fixed, uh, storage, I had tons of cache that was not deleted, so I got rid of it. And uh, yeah, we're back. But with this live update, it's only a what 24-hour forecast. Not much has changed since last night. Looking at quite a bit of moisture that's going to be moving in through Alberta, which we really, really need. Cool temperatures stretching down as far as high elevations, uh, Nevada. And then the extreme weather will be moving back into central United States. Low pressure system moving in there. Low pressure lingering, heading back out to the Atlantic from the Atlantic provinces. Big low pressure system here affecting the United Kingdom. And it looks like it's going to be heading into the kingdom and then back out to the Atlantic. Kind of a strange forecast there as well. Other than that, no major developments across the world since last night's five-day forecast. If you want an update, uh, full forecast for your region, uh, please check out the five-day forecast from last night. Oh, thank you, Darren Straley, so much for your donation. Five dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate all the support to this channel and uh, the research 
Productions. I spent a lot of time keeping humanity aware and prepared with Morning Dew. So yeah, it's much, much appreciated. Thank you, Darren. Welcome, Sue Lacombe. Good to see you. <clears throat> and please do hit up that like button. You're looking in here right now, there's 80 people in and we got 81 likes. Wow. Hey, that's that's consistency, my friends and family. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Overlooking Australia. Cool temperatures, the dominant parts of the continent, southern hemisphere. Lingering moisture will continue as this front blows cool temperatures northward. Moisture coming back to New Zealand as well. That was forecasted a couple days ago. Other than that, no major weather systems to be aware and prepared about. Grimes finds. Wow, man, dude. 1999 donation. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. And, dude, you got a really cool channel. If, if anybody hasn't checked out our Do Crew mod member Grimes Finds channel. He's got a really wicked channel. He he buys uh, like storage lockers and stuff like that. And crazy, crazy finds. Again, dude, thanks. I appreciate that. You know, I know we're all going through some pretty tough times right now. So for anybody to be giving donations during these days, you know, I'm even more appreciative. Um, you know, this is. Unfortunately, this is all I've got. This is all I've got, man. The, the, the pandemic has taken my work away. And now I'm here. And I have you to thank. I mean, I'm just getting by. And I, I'm grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. Welcome, Bart Kirby. Welcome, Troubleshoot. Good to see you, man. Welcome, Kathy M. And she says it's the sexy voice. Oh, you kind of like the raspy, uh, sicky voice? It, it's not sick, though. That's the thing. I don't feel sick. But anyways, uh, welcome, Brandon Brunard. Darren Straley. What? Are you kidding me? Another 20 bucks? Wow, dude. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, um, Southern Hemisphere as I showed yesterday, is kind of going beast mode. Huge low-pressure system <coughs> in between uh, South America and Africa. And you can see it here, bouncing back. Uh, just The jet stream's southern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere have changed dramatically. Um, it kind of looks like this forecast is going backwards. But, yeah. Not much has changed since last night. We still have this beast of a system that's forming in the southern hemisphere. And the big system here affecting the United K Kingdom and then heading back out into the Atlantic. Watch for extreme weather heading into the United States starting tomorrow night. So yeah, you know, everybody, I am grateful for another Surviving Day on the Planet, and I'm grateful to have you all watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share with your friends and family, and just have a plan. Be ready for anything these days. That's what this channel is all about, keeping humanity aware and prepared to natural disasters from around the world. Earthquakes, volcanoes, extreme weather, space weather. We're definitely, uh, we're going to see more intense space weather events within the coming decade. So stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your Morning Dew. Thanks for watching today. Live stream.